The power of not reacting. In this video, I'll explain why there is great power in not reacting as emotionally or intensely to other people. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. I believe we live in a reactionary society. We love seeing how people respond to certain news, situations, information and more. There are literally reaction channels on YouTube on an array of different topics. Because we're all unique, we have different takes and opinions and we all respond differently. But let's talk about pressing buttons. There are some people, no matter how good you are or decent you are to them as well, that will push your buttons. They will be annoying. They'll be difficult. They'll be toxic, irritating and passive aggressive. By doing so, we get really upset. We get angry, we get stressed and frustrated and we just explode at them or we feel the need to. I dated a narcissist a few years ago. I was in a toxic relationship. She pushed my buttons. She was childish, difficult and annoying. And I regret losing my call, reacting and taking the bait constantly with her. Because essentially, I was with the wrong person and I tried to convince myself we were meant for each other and things would work out. But I was wrong and you'll never be good enough for the wrong person. The logical scenario was to walk away. But instead I endured the relationship for years, causing me to react and react and react negatively and worse over time but in regards to other people such as our friends and family members or normal healthier partners we can still react we may lose our call we may raise our voice we may escalate things get trapped in a bit of an argument we may even lose a bit of control because we get essentially triggered by something and then our mind races and we fixate fester and brood and we just want to resolve things. The opposite to all of this is not reacting, which has great power behind it. Let me explain why and how you can do this. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of these videos. I'm 35 years of age as I record this, and only recently I've discovered the ultimate antidote to being and feeling defensive. I'm a passionate, emotional, sensitive man, and I've grown up to be a very reactionary person who take things personally, be hurt by certain words, and also be very defensive. In my life, I've had major falling outs with people, close people in my life, because they decided to launch a tirade at me for no reason and get hurtful with their words. They've called me stupid. They've called me ugly. They've called me a loser. They've said, I would never amount to anything. Those are some of the things people have thrown at me, out of the blue as well, because maybe they saw me as an easy target, or perhaps I was their emotional punching bag. And naturally, that emotional sensitive side of me would be filled with rage, and I'd either sulk, fight back, or just shut down. I'd say to them, how dare you? Now you're stupid. You're vile. I hate you. Looking back on every single time in my life where I've lost control and reacted, even when it might have been justified, I regret. Because I've discovered defensiveness confirms accusations. For example, if somebody calls me a stupid donkey with viciousness and aggression, if I'm going to react, get loud, aggressive myself, isn't that confirming it to be true? Isn't my reaction reinforcing the accusation I'm a stupid donkey. I believe it is. This concept has been truly mind-blowing and has de-escalated so many arguments and conflicts in my life immediately. Even if there's truth behind what they say, just respond with a thank you. It doesn't make you weak, nor does it make you a pushover. In fact, having the self-control to be able to respond in such a way is more confident, attractive and amazing than you would ever begin to imagine. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm 
and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. By not being reactive, you can take a step back and assess the situation before responding. Basically, you'll have greater control. Carter was a very reactive guy. No matter what, and in any given way, he'd always be too emotionally reactive when it came to a decision he'd make. The worst situation was when he was dating the wrong woman. They got on kind of okay, but for the long term there were reservations about them being a good match. They were opposites, they would clash on morals and principles, and they actually wanted different things. They were not even close to going to the next level. Then suddenly, news broke out that one of his closest friends was getting married, and Carter got jealous and upset. Maybe I should get engaged. I want to get married, he said, panicking. Carter proposed. She said yes. They rushed into marriage, bought a home with the wrong person. Remember, you will never be good enough for the wrong person. A long story short, the relationship fell apart, they got divorced, and he's now single, broke, and miserable. I personally was not too dissimilar to Carter was very close to taking a toxic relationship I was in to the next level, but fortunately, I walked away forever. The point here is when we get emotional or our minds race, or we've lost control to a thought, an idea, a person, a situation, we lose control over our lives. I love being and feeling more grounded now, especially when I get triggered by other people and their actions, or when they accuse me or try to attack me, and with that control, I'm able to think logically and more rationally. And the more often I do that, the more I'm able to do that in my work as well, and other important areas in my life, as will you too. Prepare to have greater control of your most precious thing ever, your life. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. Now, BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video, and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for, and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy could teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with BetterHelp. The power of not reacting will improve self-awareness. Taking the time to pause and assess a situation before reacting helps you become more aware of your own emotions and reactions. This leads to greater self-awareness and understanding of yourself and your overall reactions. Without realizing sometimes as much as other people can be the problem and can be difficult, we're no angels ourselves. We can get quiet. We can sulk, be moody, be passive aggressive, short and snappy. And if we are quick to get defensive to another person who we might have already treated unfairly or harshly, that gets them defensive. Then things escalate, get heated and out of control. Let me give you two contrasting examples of this in action. You and your partner are sitting down watching TV and they suddenly tell you that you've upset them. You've been moody all day. I've tried cheering you up, but all you've done is sulk. You react. How dare you? All you do is nag. I'm sick of you. An argument ensues. Things get out of control until hours later, you're exhausted from the shouting and bickering. Scenario number two. You and your partner are sitting down watching TV and they suddenly tell you you've upset them. You've been moody all day. I've tried cheering you up, but all you do is sulk. Remember, defensiveness confirms accusation. You say, wow, I didn't even realize you thought that way. 
you want to talk about it they might still be emotional they might unload and you sit there and listen then you take it on board if need be as they eventually calm down and you go back to connecting with one another you have the self-awareness to recognize they are perhaps being sensitive or you did something wrong to trigger them and instead you handle it all with grace and respect and maturity taking the time to pause and assess situations before responding allows you to consider how your reactions and decisions will affect your relationships with others and even yourself but before i continue this point i want to highlight that this will not improve relationships with toxic or extremely difficult people you can be non-reactive with them but you're actually better off walking away from them keeping them at arm's length and not engaging at all let's discuss preventing escalation perhaps you're really enmeshed with someone a family member a partner the more comfortable you become with one another the more obviously you're going to be clashing and maybe getting on each other's nerves and the more likely you or they will start telling home truths and voicing concerns but let's do a scenario let's assume this other person comes out swinging with the most passionate unloading of criticism and feedback it's so explosive that it feels like you can't do anything right you're the worst person on earth and they're fed up with you you could react and fight back throw shade on them nurse your ego to feel better about yourself or you could prevent that escalation by calming down in another room having a bit of space going for a walk and then coming back with a non-reactive response however that may be for example they say you upset me you never do anything right you're always hurting me you respond with well thank you for telling me how you feel i assure you that i would never do anything to hurt you and of course i'm human i'm still bound to make mistakes time and again you don't need to come across in an aggressive assertive tone or be loud the calmer you speak the quicker you'll diffuse the situation and move on and have better and improved relationships I assure you the more you respond in this way over time you'll have the best relationships and connections you've ever had in your entire life.